Right here on NFL Network over the next three hours. Welcome in to another hour of Inside Training Camp Live presented by Mitsubishi Motors. I'm Amber Theo Harris along with Heath Evans. A lot to talk about. We still have a quarterback battle with the Broncos. Adam Gase not happy with his offense Battle. in Miami. <laughs> but first, let's get to the Browns. Where are ITC Live? I'm Amber Theo Harris along with Heath Evans. A lot of news from around the league. We'll get to RG3 in just a moment. Also a quarterback battle uh, in Denver. We'll have the latest on that. And one of the best corners in the game is coming off the pup list. He's back. Good news. We will talk about that in just a moment, but first, let's talk about what's going on. And Heath, RG3 hopes things will be different for him. It was a rough run when the Redskins gave up three first rounders and a sec uh, one second round pick right. to move up to get him, and then it just didn't work out. But you really disagree with him being named the starter this early. I do, and I just think competition's always best. Yeah. The great teams, the great coaches have been around. Everyone has to earn it every single year. And then with RG3, I think it would have been great for his confidence. I think Hugh is really trying to set him up, breathe life into him so you can have the best quarterback. I just think for RG3, it would have been best. Point. He already had the respect of the coach. The coach knew what he was going to do, but maybe it would have been good to earn the respect of the players in the locker room. Because if you go back to Washington, you know, they drafted him with all. Again, I just wanted to see him overcome some of those things that he really struggled with in Washington and then let him truly beat out McCown, which I think he could have. Mm -hmm. and, and I hope the best for RG3 and for you. Um, competition's always best. Yes. And that, that's all I know. All right. Uh, we're going to talk much more about the Browns coming up, but let's head. Welcome in, everyone, to ITC Live. I'm Amber Theo Harris and Heath Evans, presented by Mitsubishi Motors. We're here with you for another hour. It is 6 o'clock in the East, and some of the West Coast teams just starting practice right now as we head out to Irvine, California. Great moments from the Hall of Fame induction. What was your favorite moment? I'm biased towards Kevin Green. I love Brett Favre's passion, but I learned about children's and, and wives and, and mothers and fathers and mother-in-laws, and, and I just everything in the right perspective. And cool to hear him say we still need to take care of each other now, the players yeah. that are retired and the players that are still playing. Yeah. All right, good stuff from the Hall of Fame. When we return. Health and defense. Those are the two things the Steelers need to improve upon most from last season. Their offense third in the league last year, despite the fact that they had only had Ben, Bell, and Brown together for two games. Just imagine how good they could be potentially if that changes or if this changes. Steelers ranked 21st in total D last year. That was their worst ranking since 1991. They do have some new faces He's sitting right here. Uh, I, I'm a little bit offended, you know, that you were like, when speaking of fantasy. <laughs> she, I mean, she, she's pretty good, too. I, I mean, you know, uh, Lindsay. So. Michael Fabiano, we have the preseason upon us. I know Here you're rise. What about Kelvin Benjamin? Yeah, another player we haven't seen in a while, right? Torres ACL didn't play last year, buzz around the fantasy community. So if he looks good in the preseason, watch his ADP go up. What about the tight end position? It feels like there are more options this year. Yes, that they kind of spread out a little bit. And a guy that I love is Kobe Fleener. Locker, but who cares? You don't get fantasy points for that. He can catch 70 balls in his sleep in this offense. When's your first draft? As late as possible, uh, yeah. probably at the end of August. And then I'll have like 10 of them. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's how it goes. In straight days. Michael Fabiano, <laughs> our fantasy expert extraordinaire, still ahead on NFL Total Access. Who else? Nine Earl Thomas days away from kickoff Panthers Broncos on September 8th. Next, some video making the rounds today. Uh, even though it's from 2013, it is Devontae Lynch. We're going to bring it to you now. There we go. Let's watch. Devontae Lynch is Marshawn Lynch's. He is going to be a senior this year at New Mexico Highlands. So uh, maybe a little bit of a beast mode for our future. Finally, uh, Michael Phelps will go for another gold tomorrow night uh, when the Ravens are playing their preseason game. So the Ravens have announced that they will air the 200 meter individual medley final on the Ravens vision board. So if you are a Baltimore fan, you don't even have to make a choice. Do you stay home and watch Phelps go for it? He's, of course, a huge Ravens fan. He's a beast. From Maryland. He's a beast. Maryland. Or do you go to the game? No, cho no choice. You can do both. Um, I, I think we have a couple of emojis uh, in the oh uh, inside training camp theme. Maybe one of Sean, maybe one of Heath. Can we pop that up there real quick? Emoji for the or bitmoji? Well, it difference. could be either or. Oh, we don't we, have one. We, we don't, don't have one. Hey, happy birthday, John Marvel and Brooke Sersolsky. Thanks to our friends in Wyckoff, New Jersey, for watching.